All right, here's a prime example why, again, I never recommend these meters to anyone. It's not a knock on them. I wish they would do better. I believe they could do better and they should do better, but it's not my choice or my my decision. This is when this one was made. So I believe they're all made to the same calibration standard as they always were made. So, you know, they're pre-calibrated at their factory for whatever that's worth bought this one new so there's our dead key 30 30 very close to 30 there here's our peak hello radio one two three so if you bought this radio from me and you got it home and you have one of these you probably wouldn't be too happy and you probably would be emailing me or calling me and saying, why is my radio not doing the power? And I'd say, well, what do you mean? It definitely does the power. I mean, I can show you the video that I made for you right here, and it's doing the power. So, uh, what? and my first question would be, what kind of meter are you running? And you would tell me you're on this, and then I would, uh, my mind would kind of be like, oh, my God, not again. You know, because it happens a lot, and it's not the operator's fault. They just don't have the experience of knowing there's a difference between a, a quality meter and a not so good quality meter but uh, this is the difference right here this is the am why does my radio not do the power on am that your sh meter shows on on your bench and this is the exact reason here because this radio is capable of doing 100 plus watts which it's still doing as i'm speaking it hasn't changed we can see i'm still modulating on the spectrum analyzer and all that good stuff and on um, the dozy here, it's it's literally 30 swinging about 50, 55. So that's the difference there. It's all in the meter. And there's various meters out there. If you don't want to spend five, $600 on a meter, I understand that. But there's some good options out there for something that will give you a true sense of peak envelope power, which you have to have to get proper, proper uh, measurement here. Let's turn this to RMS. Hello, check one, two. Hello, check one, two. So now it shows that we kind of have like next to no movement. Hello, one, two. Actually, it shows a backwards, which isn't accurate either. Because if we come over here to this meter that reads RMS in this scale. Hello, radio. Check, check. One, two, one, two. We can see we're going up to 48 to 50 at times. This takes multiple measurements per second. One, two, three. One, two, three. So... It is what it is, guys. You you have what you have at your shack or in your truck or in your mobile. And if it doesn't give you the proper reading, it's not anything that the guy that sold you the radio did wrong or anything that the radio is doing wrong. It's what you have as a measuring device. It's your means of measuring power aren't up to the task. So that's all that is. Let's go to our mod scale and we'll try to figure this one out. Most likely isn't going to do us any favor either. Yeah, see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello. Again, you'd have the scale here where you said I had 100% mod. Well, I'm only showing 50% on my dozy. And most likely at that point, if you don't agree with what I'm telling you, that your meter and your equipment is not for the task, you're probably going to go in and you're going to crank open the AMC until you get 100% or more on your meter. And then what will end up happening here is the out of um, the uh, distortion product of your radio at that point will push this up to the power that you think you should be seeing. So I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to go back and redo my work. But what will end up happening is if you open that AMC control up all the way, you basically turn off any limitation at all on the radio essentially making it uh, over here light up the whole screen basically is what it would do and then on this meter you would probably see over 100 watts so that's the difference there between when you align a, a good quality AM radio for proper way but you have a poor quality meter this is the reason why you're not going to see the power that I see here so that's the main difference hope that makes sense to everybody I might clip this out and make my own video because I said I was going to make an AM video and that's a prime example of the differences there. Thanks a lot for the for the order. We'll get this one ready to head your way. 73.